FOG Andrew here, and the coach here for Family of Gamers. Welcome, Wargamers, to an exciting, awesome, unmatched battle report. Today, we are trying out the new characters in the Redemption Row Marvel box. And if you haven't seen my review, make sure you go check out the review after this video. But I'll be taking Luke Cage, and you'll be taking Wunda. Yes, very exciting because, you know, Marvel in Unmatched. It's going to be crazy. We're going to be playing the game on the raft board as well that has the items on it. So that's going to be interesting. But before we actually get started with the battle report, if this is your first time here, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. we got a bunch of stuff planned for Unmatched, more battle reports, reviews, unboxings, all that good stuff. And stay tuned for a bunch of other videos we have coming out on the channel as well. But without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the raft board. We got the items on the boards here. Luke Cage is going first, so he's starting here. He's got Misty there. And then Moon Knight is starting over here. So Luke Cage's ability is that when he takes uh, combat damage, he actually takes two less combat damage from attacks. And I don't even have to play a card to win combat because I'll automatically basically get a two defense. He starts off with only 13 health while Misty Knight starts with six and Misty Knight is ranged. Okay, so Moon Knight starts off as Moon Knight and then what's different about Moon Knight is he starts off and he can move up to two spaces at the beginning of his turn and then at the end of the turn he will turn into Khonshu and Khonshu has a plus two to all of his attack dice and he doesn't take uh, effects from anything but combat and then he would turn into Mr. Knight which Mr. Knight gives you a plus one on all your defenses and then after the end of that turn we go back to Moon Knight and we keep going like that till the end of the game. Yep. So I guess let's get started. So again like I said I'll be going first so I am going to maneuver I'm gonna boost my movement of two so I will maneuver and go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, with Luke, and Misty is going to shoot at Moon Knight. We're both in the purple zone. All right, and flip. So five against the one, and uh, your after combat goes first. So what do you do? I. Uh draw a card equal, draw a card here, and then I would take two to the boost value of it. Alright, so you'll be drawing two cards, and my, and so you'll be taking four damage, and I will be getting to draw a card. Okay, so now Moon Knight is down to 12. Okay, and that's it for Luke. Alright, so you can move two, one, two, and then I'll move one more here. Okay. And then what I will do is I will attack Misty. Okay. And flip. So now... And then what I will do is I will... Well, technically mine goes first because I'm defending. Okay. But if Misty Knight is adjacent to the opposing fighter, which I am, the value of this card is six. Yeah, so, you know, unless you have a four boost, which I don't think you have, no. so nothing would happen. Okay. All right, that's it for Moon Knight. I will maneuver and go one, two with Luke, and I will attack using the folding chair as well. So that gives me plus one to this attack. Okay, flip. All right, so that brings uh, this to a six with the folding chair. So you'll be taking four damage. And unfortunately, it's a feint. I don't get to draw a card. Folding chair came in handy. Down to eight. So I'll attack Luke. Okay. I'll boost it. Okay. 
So that brings this to a five, and this actually it brings it to a seven Oof. because he's contrary right now. He contrary gets a plus two. Okay, so I would. Uh, so seven. This this would be a four because of my ability. Right. So I'll only be taking three. So that brings me down to ten. All right. And then what I would do is okay. All right, and then this is a three. Okay. So this is three plus two for Conchu, and then from here it says add two to the answer. That's a six. So, so it's a oh, two, it's two plus Conchu is two plus two on the discard pile. Yep. So that means I'll be taking another three, bringing me down to seven. Okay, and that's it for you. Yep. Oh, and I get to draw a card for that. For my for my regroup. Mm -hmm. And now I missed a knight. Okay. Which helps because I'm surrounded and I need a plus one. I'm gonna draw a card. Go one, two, one, two. I'm gonna draw a second card and go. You know what? I'll come back. One, two. And then I'll just bring her, keep her there in the purple. Okay, that's it for me. Okay, so I'll maneuver. Okay. And then I'll maneuver again. Mm, interesting. Okay. Back to Moon Knight. Back to Moon Knight. So I will attack with Luke. Alright, uh, and if I won the combat, I choose two cards in my discard pile and shuffle them into my deck. So you'll only be taking one. So that brings me down to seven. Alright, seven to seven. And first I will shuffle my deck, and then I will maneuver again, or I will maneuver. Two and Misty will stay right there. One, two, and I guess I'll tap. All right. So this becomes a four. That becomes a six because I'm conchu. Okay. And do I use this thing? That, Security camera. That's right? that's an action to okay. to do it. Right. Uh, so I'll take two, going down to five. Uh, but then I move the opposing fighter up to three spaces, and I can move them th uh, through other opposing fighters. But there's no other opposing fighters, so I'm going to go one, or I'll just do one right here, and you'll take a damage from that. I'll take a damage from that? Yes. Really? Six. And then yours is you may change to your next identity. Are you going to change? You may change. So with this card, I'm not going to change. And I'll just go to Mr. Knight at the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, so I will maneuver. And I will shoot at, um, I'll shoot at Moon Knight with Misty. Alright. And you know what? For that maneuver, I'm going to go right into here with Luke. Um, so I get to draw a card for that, and then what do you get to do? I get to move you up to four spaces. Okay. So is that Misty or her? Or Misty. So, one, two, three, four. Alright. So you are up. This would be 
uh, unless you have the feint, two plus two. Okay. Uh, so if I lost the combat, which I did, I deal damage to you as much as I took. So basically, I'll take two damage, okay. and you'll also take two damage. So that brings me down to three. I'm down to four. Okay. And then uh, I'm changing to country. All right. So I'm going to draw a card and go one, two. I'm going to boost my movement. So I'll go. Actually, I don't need to boost my movement. I'll just go one, two. Actually, I will. Sorry. I will boost my movement and go right here with Misty and attack Moon Knight. Alright, so if Misty Knight is adjacent to the opposing fighter, the value of this card is 6. So you'll end up taking just 3. Okay, oof, that brings me down. That brings me down to... So I got 1 left. Alright. That's it. Yep, that's all she's doing. Alright, so control will move. So, cancel all effects on your opponent's card, oh. and uh, so yours becomes a 4, mine becomes a 4 as well, because no. you're Khonshu. Right, so 4, 4, then it says after combat, you... Cancel all effects on your opponent's card. Oh, uh, is that a, that's a feint? It's kind of a feint, it's a, it's a better feint. That's trash talk, okay. So... Tonight. Okay. Uh, I will maneuver. Hmm. <laughs> Go one, two with Misty. Use the electro baton and attack. That's it. So that's a four then. Epic handshake of awesomeness. I only had that left. Ah, that's a good card which, too. Which would have worked if I would have boosted it with the three. I could have took out Luke, but I didn't have a boost card. Yeah. Oof. All right. All right. So that is a Luke Cage victory. What do you think about Moon Knight? I like him. I played him before. The cards didn't line up for me. It was really bad, and I think the the biggest thing started off where. When Misty hit me with that big attack, I, I, I played the one, and I, I was like, don't play the one, but you know what, let me get rid of it. And that I think that started my downfall. Right. But I got Luke Cage down to what? To, to you got him down to three, I think. So if I, if I would have had a card, I would have been able to defend that last one. If I had a card, I would have definitely been able to finish him off. Yeah. But Because um, I was coming out with Conch, so yeah. with the plus two. Yeah. Pretty, pretty close. Um Definitely, uh, I, I can see the strategy with the balance of Luke and Misty, you know, because Luke so far is the only side, is the only character to have a sidekick. Right. Electra's coming out, she's going to have four hand ninjas, but besides that, in Redemption Row, Luke is the only one to have a sidekick. So I could see the balance, you know, and how they both but, but work his, off of each other. His sidekick is very good. Yeah, and she's ranged, which is definitely like definitely a good thing right you know so I think that also kind of does good and also like I, that card you know if, if she, it's a two but if she's adjacent it's right. a six yeah, like oh right. my god you know so it's like you know you want to get her up there and you want to get her adjacent to the, the opponent so but I like Luke I played him before also and he's like a pretty solid character now the other thing though, really quick the board. It was good. Um, the uh, the items didn't come into play like they did the last time we played, but... Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, it worked out. I, I ended up using the Electro Baton right. and the, the Folding Chair, uh, but the schemes we didn't use at all. No. So, but I do like the board, and I do like the items on the board. It's just another game mechanic that, you know, makes it a little bit more yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's good to have. Yeah. So, that is it for this 
battle reports. Stay tuned for more battle reports coming out in the future. We got a bunch of stuff planned for Unmatched. And also this video right here you have to watch because the algorithm says that you need to. But before you click that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And check out the Patreon.